The objective of this lesson is to interpret and represent the mean as a balance point. The mean of a data set is a measure of center. A measure of center is a single value that represents a collection of data. Mean is also known as the average. Let's look at the following problem. Many phone manufacturers track how many customers frequent businesses each hour. Use the information in the graph to calculate the mean number of customers who visit Modern Threads every hour. We can calculate the mean by adding up the number of customers who visit each hour and then dividing by the number of data points. The total number of customers who visit Modern Threads is 364. We will divide that by 11 since there are 11 different data points. The mean number of customers who visit every hour is approximately 33. This method of calculating the mean closely aligns with statisticians' interpretation of quantities leveling off or as a fair share. Another interpretation of the mean is to interpret the mean as a balance point. In order for an object to be balanced, all of the weight needs to be distributed evenly. Let's show how this works. This line plot represents 10 people and how many days they exercise during a given week. Rather than using the formula to calculate the mean, the balance point can be found by moving counters one by one towards the center. Start with one counter on one side and move it in towards the center, then move one counter from the other side and move it towards the center. Continuing to do this while alternating sides will move the counters toward the balance point. The balance point, or mean, is 3. Let's find the mean using the balance interpretation for this line plot showing the number of merit badges earned by Troop A. We will move the counters one by one towards the center starting with one counter on one side and then one counter from the other side. The balance point, or mean, is 6. The objective for this lesson was to interpret and represent the mean as a balance point. We met this objective by showing how to move data points on a line plot to find the balance point.